Hello dear wonderful friends, welcome back here at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creation. It is lunchtime, so I'm going to cook lunch for my family, especially food for my husband's uh, is going to work today. Okay, there you go. So what are the very basic ingredients that we have? So I have here six, one, two, three, four, five, six chicken thighs. So I wash it thoroughly. I took out its fats and the slimy part of the chicken. So this is one kilo or two pounds. I mean, one kilo or two pounds. And I have here one pound of this nice fresh potatoes or patatas. So I did not really bother peeling the potatoes. I just tried to wash it thoroughly and then give a good uh, scrub into the potato skin. Okay, now for the chicken, we have to put it to dry. And so I am going to air fry this dish. So this is my air fryer. There you go. And so later i'm going to plug that into the source <laughs> okay so very very easy type of cooking so what shall we do is i'm going to add some uh, garlic spread or garlic powder if you don't have this type of garlic powder which i bought this from costco you can always use this uh, type of fresh garlic cloves and then just mince it or clove um pound it whatever you want in case you don't have this but you can also combine this uh, kind of garlic and also the garlic spread or the garlic powder there you go and so this is our seasoned salt so use salt adding salt and pepper it depends upon your taste buds and so i'm going to add some paprika i have here this paprika Remember, friends, that cooking and baking, they always make fun and easy here at my little kitchen. Thus, it gives you the ideas on what to prepare for your family's next meal. So, there you go. So, it's simply for fun, sharing, and learning. I'm going to add some black pepper. So, adding uh, your savoring enhancer, it all depends upon your taste buds. As I always do emphasize that one. Uh, seasoned salt. And also this, I have here this organic uh, thyme, which I bought. This. So it's a dry herbs. You can use basil or uh, parsley. So a little bit here and there. Beautiful. So I'll have to flip it over. And so, same procedure. Okay. Uh, black pepper. And um, thyme. You can use rosemary or parsley or basil. And uh, salt. And what's this? Paprika. Okay, there you go. Beautiful. So it will be a combination of dry spices, a little bit here and there. So I have here this lemongrass powder. I bought this from the Asian store nearby. <laughs> so I'm just going to... Um, Drizzle a little bit of this um, lemongrass. Okay, this is quite ready. Now, friends of using air fryer the purpose is for you and for me not to have oil so oil free it should be but 
as of this point i want it moistened a little bit there should be a little bit moisture so i decided i will just add some extra virgin olive oil so maybe approximately uh three tablespoons <laughs> okay there you go you can also try to eliminate the oil that's perfectly fine so i'm using extra virgin olive oil but that can be very optional okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to arrange my chicken here so there you go and so the rest of the potatoes so make sure that there's room for everybody <laughs> okay please accommodate potatoes as well <laughs> okay there you go so that's the inside part of uh, our air fryer so it's hollow so this is now ready so we have to put that inside there you go so pull it, plug it in so there you go so there are some choices here so this is air fry so the choice says it's good for 20 minutes and uh, at 400 degrees fahrenheit so we'll start it so it's starting so leave it for 20 minutes and we'll check it back later so friends it takes 15 minutes more before a chicken is done so for the chicken this will be paired with my boiled uh, asparagus so i cut at least two inches at the bottom part because this is a harder part here so i'm going to wash it thoroughly so let us wash this asparagus into cold water make sure all our veggies should be washed properly there you go so we'll just add some water maybe have a cup of water bring it to a boil turn on our flame and i want this a little bit crunchy but not overly cooked set that aside for a few minutes maybe for uh, three minutes so this is quite done i'll have to turn off my flame voila so drain the water so my fluffy rice it's done we're about to eat very soon so I will just take this out from its boiling water, drain it, put it into the serving platter. So I'm going to add some butter or margarine. Let it melt. <laughs> this type of margarine, it's Filipino brand and I love it. five more minutes please okay i have to plate in my rice 
I love this kind of rice. This is basmati rice. Basmati rice or an Indian rice. Friends, time is over. So let's check. stopped <laughs> let's check it's really beautiful <laughs> so it's golden brown my dear wonderful friends lovely so this is for our veggies boiled or blanched asparagus and rice so for dessert can have oranges sweet mandarin oranges or we can have this nice delicious avocados I don't know which one I like I think I like this one better